Hello, everybody. So this is the reuse committee of the Department of Public Works of Northampton. It's July 31st, 2014. Uh, first order of business, 834. Uh, there's a public comment period. Is that traditional before meetings to have a public yes. comment? Is there any public comment? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. So, have people read the minutes from June Comments 27th? Comments about the public, or? Uh, These blueberries are good. Yeah. <laughs> the blueberries are excellent. Would you like to talk about them? Everybody. You want to talk about your pile? Uh, everyone read the minutes from June 27th? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can we uh, motion to approve them? I was at the, uh, the strawberry social thing. That was the only thing I saw that doesn't really matter. In the new business at the end, yeah, yeah. I was one of the people who was there. Oh, you know, I thought that I had put oh. David Starr, and he said, no, it wasn't me. Uh -huh. So it was you. I knew that there was yeah, another person. Yeah, they look so much no. alike. No, <laughs> you had David Shear. I knew that. And he was there. Yeah. Okay, but so Diana, I will add those yeah, to the minutes. She may have had David Starr at one point, and he was not there. Oh, oh, but David Shear. But Diana you were there. was there. Indeed <laughs> were. Indeed. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And Any, just question, sure. the follow-up protocol, I know, it's a good idea, but I don't remember. Um, um, I can take oh, a look at my notes, and I, was I that you? I volunteered it, because I just thought that was a good thing to, to sort of summarize the meeting, yes. to make sure that we knew what was going to happen. Yes. That's Next, that. it was just a, it was adding to our, our developing organizational um, process just because we've become more organized and because of that organizing have become more productive I feel and that the, you know running down follow-up at the oh, end of the entry side yeah. no oh. so I have introduced a uh, road uh, introduced concept of follow-up review protocol such as, so so at the end of a meeting to review Kind of decisions made and, and who's going to do what next like meeting, etc. Uh -huh. Yeah. So summary, basically. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And just in case people, in case in the um, heat of the moment they volunteered to do something and they didn't <laughs> follow. Them. So to summarize and actions. Should I? Would you like me to be more specific about that in the minutes or? Who was that? Oh, Peter. No. Okay. No, I just. Okay. <clears throat> I didn't know whether it referred to the. Valley Market or okay. okay, any other comments about the minutes? Motion to approve? Uh, yes. Yes. Second? Second? All right. All in favor? Aye. All right. Opposed? We are done with that. Uh, so a report from the mission statement working group. That would be whom? I believe hopefully that would be Roe, but she's Oh <laughs> <laughs> Diane. Yes. And I, yeah. 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 So we met. Oh, oh, wait, I'm sorry. Oh, wait. Before we do that, I have yeah. written down, we need a note taker for today, which we don't have. Um, and look looking for just for today. <laughs> I, think. I can do that. Okay, thank you. Uh, we'll, talk about, we'll talk about the next three months uh, at the end of the meeting. I'm sorry, Ro, go ahead. Oh, Rolls no, it was Diana and I and <coughs> David all met together, and I had unearthed a um, <coughs> Uh, a mission statement that we had come up with right before we uh, lost our previous um, recycling coordinator and which is right here so we're gonna should I pass that around so we're gonna reuse it because that's our philosophy <laughs> <laughs> yes, excellent, excellent. the one the, um, just to uh, explain yeah, there, there's a there's an asterisk piece here about zero waste that was that was not included for um, the board or right. our dis for our so discussion. It wasn't in the what oh, I okay. Uh. Um, and <clears throat> we we decided to forward this to the board and just to do follow up. Uh, the board approved it. However, right be right before it, David brought up the fact that it doesn't really say anything about events. And I thought that that yeah. was really uh, important. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. The first paragraph is just about the center. Right. Yeah. So, have you have you thought about wording? If we were to change, I think we can change that aspect without going back to the board. Um, right. I, I don't. I think it's in our hands. Yeah. Is there an extra copy of it? 
with the mission? Did you say you had a coffee already? I had it at home. Oh, okay. Debbie, do you want me to pass these blueberries down to you? No, no, thanks. So I'm not exactly sure how that wording should go, but the board it, board did approve this mission statement. Which which board? The board of public works. Oh, okay, gotcha. Do you don't think that no. adding something as important and uh, active as the other activities is something I would want to know about or see? Well, we talked about it. Oh, you did. Uh, yeah. Okay. It's, it's With it's them, certainly you can. Yeah. You yeah. can argue the committee will create volunteer run programs to increase awareness oh, of existing opportunities yes, yes, for Yes, yes, you can That's argue that. that. Uh, and, yeah. and we es essentially, yeah. we don't increase awareness of existing opportunities, we create additional opportunities for reuse. Mm -hmm. Which is what it says at the end. And develop new options for reuse for residents. Oh, okay, okay, so okay. You know what? That. It, that could be maybe taken care of. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, first off, I was thought mission statements are more general, mm -hmm. rather than specific. The reuse center is a more specific means to the to the mission. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? mm -hmm. So having it as the open paragraph isn't really a mission statement, it's just one of the ways to achieve the mission. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So are the programs. Uh, so that could possibly come later. And uh, because the second paragraph really is what we do, we're creating volunteer on programs, events, and centers to increase awareness of the existing opportunity for use in Parana Valley. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, uh, so, and we can always have ongoing programs that aren't necessarily related to a single mm -hmm. event mm -hmm. or the reuse center. We haven't even gotten that. Yeah, yeah, that could cover it. So, yeah. you, you're suggesting, Roger, that we simplify the mission statement and not, and, 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 and and just have a sentence or two of what our mission is sure. instead of a couple of paragraphs? Is that what you're suggesting? Or we suggesting? could switch the order of the two paragraphs is sure. what I thought you were saying. Yeah. Yes, I like that idea better because I don't, I, I mean, Debbie's point is good. I don't, I don't think we want to mess with it too much since we've already gotten approval. And, and but if we, if we switch those two around, that's okay. So Lead with the committee will create volunteer run programs to increase awareness at level and then is a question about zero waste. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Now, this is this something uh, that you, you guys the, talked about here? No, about that. No, we haven't. The well, zero waste. Yeah, zero waste is it's it's a movement that a lot of communities are are starting to help people help communities. Uh, to reuse. reduce yeah. their waste stream essentially sure. so it's it, it means increased composting it means increased uh, recycling it means uh, reuse more it, it means um, uh, reducing the amount of material that's that's being consumed sure. so um, so a, a lot of the stuff we're doing with the bag you know the promotion of reuse of bags, I mean, all of that stuff is all zero waste. It, um, San Francisco is probably the, the city that has the most uh, uh, kudos or uh, press about <coughs> zero waste because they have, over the last 10 years, really worked to reduce the amount of stuff going into landfill or to <coughs> incinerators. But they are building a 40 million. Uh, 40 mile rail line to take this no waste to a landfill oh. that's 40 miles away. So right. To me, zero waste is a bit of a misnomer. Right? Well, yeah. it, it's, well it, it's been controversial because yeah. there's no way you can have zero waste. I mean, it's impossible to achieve zero, but it's an aspirational goal. Yeah. And when you yeah. say zero waste, everyone understands what you mean. Okay. So that's why they've, 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 they've bandied about should we call it zero waste? Should we, you know. Um, and, and it's called zero waste, but we know that it's probably impossible to achieve. But you can get pretty close. But, but the point of the mission statement is this saying it's operated under the guiding principles of zero waste. Uh -huh. Have we vetted out what those guiding principles are here in this committee? Probably. I, I'm, I might not be in the committee. In the, in the original one, it was that year, which was two years ago. Was that two years ago? I can't remember when all this, this happened, but this but was this was created in 2012. Yes, two years, years ago. Okay. Yeah, okay, so there was a um, simultaneous to the development of this mission statement was a grant from the state to 
write a um, a zero waste for the city of Northampton commitment or philosophy or something like that that, Ar <coughs> that Arlene was working on with Karen. So I don't act actually know what ever happened I to think that. It, I think they tr they met with the mayor, they met with somebody in the city council, uh, they, at, the, at the city level, and it didn't go from there. Yeah, so, um, yeah. So Arlene, um, when she wrote up her, the grant thing, she said, well, it, it never moved. So, yeah. well, it, nothing happened. So nothing happened It was officially. a technical assistance grant. Right. Mm -hmm. So nothing happened officially. Mm -hmm. um, so, so uh, just saying under the guiding principles of zero waste is vague is vague enough, but specific enough that I think that we don't have to worry about the person. That's my thought, but other people might have different no, thoughts. Absolutely, I agree. Okay, yeah. it means reducing the waste stream. Mm -hmm. So, so and, and that people. via composting, increased recycling. Mm -hmm. Um, and and reuse and what is it? How do you What's call it? On here? On the, yeah. Mm -hmm. Zero yeah, waste principles so, outline. So, right. Ro, you're bringing this report to us for what reason? Because the committee, the last this committee, mm -hmm. um, asked that the board approve a mission statement for the committee as a whole okay. to to clarify our purpose and help us have. Uh, a specific report. And if we have to question things or if we think, should we do this, should we not, we can go back to this. And the okay. board has approved this. So so you went and looked at this, and your recommendation, this working group, was to leave it the way it is? Yes. <coughs> and they took and they already took it, bless you, they already right. took it to the, the board. board. And right. And that's been approved. It. Yes. Okay. So the question is, do we feel strongly enough that we want to swap the order of these paragraphs, or do we just leave it as is? Okay. That's the question. Just as a matter of procedure, I think leave it as is. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it's not incorrect. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. I would add one little sentence, which to me was the mission statement of the reuse <coughs> resource that I have sent back which is to promote recreativity, to promote creativity. So programs that promote <coughs> creativity would sound yeah. better because that's that's the essence of it. But, but I but don't think we want to go back to the board and say we want to revise. Well, is yeah. that much of a revision? Well, it's, it's Peter, a the thing deal. is, I mean, the, the yeah. creativity piece is, is what resonated for you, but yeah. for the, the whole purpose of this is reuse. For what other purpose? It doesn't have to be a creative purpose. We just want it to be reused. You know, am, am I? I don't know. That's my that was my interpretation. And I think what Roger is saying is that so, it, it, the more specific you get, the less of a mission statement it is, and more yes. uh, right. the action. Mm -hmm. So I think mm -hmm. it doesn't preclude us from doing that. Yeah, right. I mean, it's, but, you can be as creative as you want. Right. It right. just doesn't have to be part of the mission right. statement. Mm -hmm. so, we're so are you okay yeah. with no. not switching? You would suggest a switch. Are you okay with that? Fine. I just yeah. right. I, I heard what you said, but mm -hmm. if, if we leave it, then we're done with it, <laughs> which is simpler. So, uh, oh, Unless people foresee major problems or issues ensuing from not doing something. But I, I, I'm not... Ru Ru well, we might have the word events. <coughs> I think I like that. Programs and events. Okay. Yeah. Programs Ru and events. Oh, I see. Yeah. To add oh. programs and events. Ru's point is that we have something to fall back on. No. This group yeah. wanted to have a formal mission statement approved by the board of public oh. And so we, our little working group, <coughs> I found this original yeah. one. Mm -hmm. Working group said this looks great and the board approved it. And so now the group has it. Mm -hmm. Now our group, this group here, has a mission statement that we can go back to for guidance if we need to. When somebody comes to us and says, will you promote this, mm -hmm. my charge, we can say, well, does it fit within our mission? Mm -hmm. Yes, because our mission is very vague. Sure. And what was the date that the board approved? The 17th, I believe. The 16th. No, the 23rd. The 23rd. July. Of July. My birthday. Oh, oh. oh. well, happy birthday! Thank you. Yes. 
<coughs> okay, so. Uh, Would you like some bumpers? Are we going to. <laughs> yes, I would. Can, can we uh, amend this by adding an event? Is that a reasonable thing to do? And yeah. Are we okay with that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Diana, do, do you agree with that? Yeah, it's fine. I, I think that develop new options could include events, and we don't need to say it, but we can say it. I don't have okay. a problem with that. Fair enough. So, are we in agreement? Yes. yes. Okay. Sure. Then we're going to move on. Uh, yes. Susan, um, you had something else? Also, well, it's, it's, I didn't, I kind of lumped it in that the, the item number two and three on the agenda, I kind of lumped into item two here. The lobbying? Go, I'll oh, the whole thing. Let you do your job. That's all right. So, the July 16th, not 13th, it was the 16th meeting? It, the 23rd, 23rd. Okay, oh. on the agenda is the yeah. July 16th. Well, at the time it was supposed to be the 16th, but, it's, but, it was not. but they changed it to the 23rd. Okay, so we're talking about the 23rd meeting of the Board, yes. Board of Public Works? Yes. So the mission statement we've done. Yes. Now we're talking about the lobby. Yes. Okay, you're going to continue? I can. Okay. Um, so there was, I think, the David jump in here if you have a different viewpoint but I think they were like as long as the committee all it all agrees on something and so it's a formal approved concept of the committee people can write letters to the editor or or do um, outreach for a certain concept as long as it's in a lot, as long as they do it in the name of the, if they do it in the name of the reuse mm -hmm. committee. So Peter can do whatever he wants to do, but if he puts member of the reuse committee, then the whole reuse committee has to approve what he does under that guise. So, so just to stay as opposed to just being Peter. Yes, exactly. There's Peter and there's Peter of the reuse committee. Yes, right. exactly. Yeah, that makes sense. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's reasonable. And, how many members of the reuse committee need to approve something in order for it to be an approved thing? Oh, that's a good that's, question. That's a, an issue that I have, um, that I initially struggled with and I kind of let go. <laughs> but um, there, it's not clear. I could never find anything that said that we had to have a certain number of people on the subcommittee. So as a result, having a quorum is, is difficult mm -hmm. to determine. I think an answer to your question that a simple majority of the group would work um, of the people present. Who are the, okay, but yeah, who are the members of the group is the other question. Yeah. But, and that's what Susan's been trying to formalize. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, when I first came on board, I tried to find information about it. It's not there. So I would suggest that, that we make a proposal to the board saying, we propose that we um, have X number of people on the committee or whatever we decide to do, there needs to, you know, it, it would be very helpful. You point out a, a, an excellent point. You know, what if we had two people here? Could we make decisions for the committee? Um, so, so we need to know approximately how many, how, how many people should, are on the board and um, do we, on the it gets on the committee, and it, and it gets it gets more more complicated, complicated sure. which is why I I kind of set it on the back burner because when you have a certain number on the committee, then the question of terms comes up, right. and yeah. do you want uh, people to have two year terms, three year terms, are they renewable terms? Um, who who decides who's on who, who decides you know who gets on or who gets off and whether somebody it's appropriate to renew. In Amherst, we have a volunteer board and, and we have many volunteer boards and it's the city manager who decides, uh, he interviews people and appoints people to boards and then he asks them if they you know want to be um, renewed. So I, I mean, I have people on our reuse committee that have been, you know, that have served three terms of three years each. Um, so you can, you know, you can stay on if you want, and it's not, and it's the city manager or the equivalent would be the mayor that would decide. Um, you know, do we want to get that formal? I don't know, and that sort of decision that the whole group needs to make. 
it also ties into voting for specific items such as a letter absolutely because you could have a flood of people come in and say i want to be on the board so i can vote on this decision yeah and uh who knows if that's ever happened right but uh or lobby well and, and when i Good talked lobby. earlier about the the uh, mm -hmm. contact sheet you know we have a bunch of people who are on the distribution list for minutes and information but haven't come to meetings for many months so are they officially members or are they not yeah. so so I mean it's it's a it's a deeper issue you know it, it it's kind of the tip of the iceberg mm -hmm. to say and it doesn't many. seem like it would be something that this committee would make a decision about like this would be a BPW well, I, think, I would think we're I would suggest we make a recommendation I I think so. can, I think Susan and David and I can be enough of a representation of the board that we can make a decision okay. because I think we don't want to I don't I think that we will we will have enough enough thoughts to work it out and Susan having had experience with another group I think okay. I mean what does everybody think that's my feeling I, when I joined the reuse committee or whatever it was called at the time I yeah. joined it, um, I filled out a form mm -hmm. and sent it into mm -hmm. the city. Mm -hmm. And has everyone, like, yeah. is that how mm -hmm. you joined this committee? Mm -hmm. So I just showed up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you guys should fill out forms. Oh, sure. I mean, yes. Okay. So I'm, I'm just saying, right? Like, but but if we're going to have a number of people who are on the committee, how do we determine that? Have they shown up? Have they not shown up? Have they filled out a form? Maybe is how we decide that. I think that's that. excellent. Um, well, but but once you but filling out a form, um, only I mean, does is that all you have to do is fill out a form? Mm -hmm. who, who contacts them and says welcome you aboard. do come on you do yeah and, yeah. and then Karen what number did. yes when do we have too many people i mean that's to me I mean, that's, that's a big issue when yeah. you've got a stack of forms and you say okay this is too many and then who decides which one of the stack of the forms gets invited to be on the committee well, let that, that, that happen so, first what'd you say right. the first one that came i think like when i when i signed my form i remember my friend ben was also trying uh, thinking he would get on the committee and i had filled the spot mm -hmm. so he didn't huh. you had filled the spot so there must have been there was a number a, of people, a number who, of people who, i mean i don't know where that came from but or maybe mm -hmm. garrett and ben didn't get along or i don't know exactly so, so how Ro that rose suggestion is that she and david and susan meet and talk about how to make that formalized at some way yeah we're and then we can present it to I, mean, I, I think you, we can just decide, David. Do you, do you agree that we can? I mean, in terms of there hasn't ever been, to my knowledge, too many volunteers. But well, I, but but we have to distinguish between working group committee members mm -hmm. and volunteers. And you you know which yes because there's that. the bigger volunteer group, and then there's the working group. Now we have in our reuse center business plan said that the governing body so to speak of management of the reuse center mm -hmm. is going to be this group so you don't want 30 people in charge of doing that i mean you know th right. there's right. just there's a limit there's a limit and there's a limit to the number that effectively can be in a in a in a committee you know i mean you don't want 50 people on a committee you want no more than you know 15 maybe even that is pretty high mm -hmm. um, so seven is what we have on the committee in Amherst <coughs> and I don't I can I can find out what other committees have how many do you have on the Board of Public Work seven mm -hmm. so it's usually an odd number to prevent um, split votes and so, so I think it makes sense to for you to formalize that in some okay. way David, David, <coughs> I, I, right? I, I, think, I think we could, and, and you could also have a situation where somebody, in, in effect, becomes an uh, informal member, even though they're not an official ad hoc member, member or, or, or working, yeah. group working group member. Working group member, absolutely. And participating, in absolutely. Zone, but they wouldn't be a voting member. But in general, I don't okay. think that should be an issue. Well, uh, that's yeah. We don't have. Mm -hmm. What do we have to vote on? We can't spend well, any well, money. Well, this became. A question because we we're talking about lobbying and who approves uh -huh. of the group's right. representation. Right. 
So that that's, was my that's point. what we're okay. trying to mm -hmm. figure out. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. how about for purposes of discussion and sharing for the next meeting? Um, if this is okay with you um, and the rest of the group, um, I, I say that the member that the membership of the um, reuse committee of the Board of Public Works shall be shall not exceed 11 people and 11 people all of whom have the ability to vote at the regular monthly meeting. And the secondary will be working group members of no limit. <coughs> mm -hmm. so maybe first just determining how many people right now we actually consider. And Susan's in the process of yeah. doing that. Yeah. And, then, and then maybe we can put, attach the number after that. How many people on your list right now, Susan? Just count. Not accounting the people not counting the people who are questionable. One, two, three, four, five. Well, some people haven't shown up. Eight. They're they, they, they use plus one. We have one nine. Number. Right, yeah. Yeah, all right. We have so, nine right now. Somebody uses Star I saw them at Walmart. <laughs> yeah, nine. that doesn't work. Nine. So 11 so, seems like it might work. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, it, it's, it's good to put out there what kind of expectations that we have mm -hmm. of members. Um, and one of which is that you come to meetings. You know, I mean, it doesn't have to be a long list, but people, once you've agreed to be a voting member of the committee, you, the expectation is that you will make as many meetings as, as possible, and if, you, if, you, if something happens in your life where you can't, you need to do something like what Jessica did and said, I can't make the meetings, I'm gonna you know, be a background person or whatever. Well, it always helps that have been involved in talking about the issues that actually understand your vote. Mm -hmm. And Roger, that brings <coughs> up a, you just started nothing, which is it's nice to have a regular group of people that you can rely on. Because mm -hmm. if mm -hmm. you show up one time, I show up another yeah. time, mm -hmm. then we don't have that. I mean, already right. we have the right. governance forms because we have a chair, we have somebody taking minutes, mm -hmm. and then that moves up the next three months. That formal process, I think, really helps to formalize what goes on and mm -hmm. that then that's like what carries weight with uh, the legitimacy of the group. Mm -hmm. So okay. but so you will meet and formalize this or well no I think like I'm just, just proposing it. that's what we oh, yeah. no it's okay. I'm hoping, okay. Yeah okay. yeah that, that we propose that it will go in next week's next month's meeting agenda but it will go into the meet it will be in the minutes. It will go in for a final discussion next month. Is that, that sounds that great. okay with everybody? Yeah, that sounds good. Sure. Yeah. And you need to fill that out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you oh, you questions here. Okay, good. All right. You didn't good. Write them all, but okay. Thanks for okay. my writing. Okay, great. Thanks to consider. All right. Okay, good. Other comments? I'm gonna give them to Susan to sure. put in the yeah. in the um, I'm sure there's more. Correct. Oh, oh yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you then. Sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Those are just uh, <laughs> good questions, I think. All right. Great. Then we're moving the, on. Uh, they're ones that have already we've been talking right. about. And you summarized them. And I had a couple. Of oh, well, myself, why don't maybe Susan should I mean, maybe Diana should read them out loud. Oh, um, fill out a form to join committee. Who approves? How many on the committee is appropriate? Is there a com um, uh, committee limit? Is there currently a limit? Yeah. If it's not, what's an agreed good number? What's a good number? Voting regarding issues. What? Why do you should read this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're going to take the notes, you need well, to what's a quorum, well, if any? Uh, what's a majority vote? Is that how we're going to decide things? Which we, we already talked about. Mm -hmm. uh, so then also the idea of having ad hocs and working group members. It would be, you know, who, and these are public meetings, so people can come, anybody can mm -hmm. come and talk about it. But they, and they have to be posted. Right. Uh, and then what are the expectations of the committee members? Which we've already talked about. But not delineated. <laughs> How do you mean expectations? Well, coming to meetings is what we already talked about. Or other. What is our, right. our expectation of ourselves? Joining subcommittees, becoming a Good. rotating chair, joining in that Very process. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Other comments? Then we move on to the recenter update. Who's that? I wish I'd been able to. Um, Dan is a I'm hoping so. Diana could. I could. Um, yeah, I was just hoping to anybody else. Uh, so we're moving forward. Mac, who was really 
taking a good lead, um, and Bob, who is the uh, construction manager, are, are both on vacation for a couple weeks. Um, but Peter and um, I have been showing up recently, and other volunteers, David Sher is there, and um, we have con we have construction skilled people coming on a volunteer basis when they can, and so we're getting we're building the south wall as we can. We're working for on a few different projects all at once, but it's moving forward. I don't see any big hangups right now. And you guys didn't hear anything about the uh, building permit. I didn't, no. but we're okay. It doesn't and it called Louis Hasbrook uh, because a week or so ago, supposedly the building permit <coughs> was a, supposed to be a done deal, and we haven't received it yet. So Ned said that um, working on the curb of the north wall is fine. Working on the cat room is fine, but he would not do more framing until we have the permit in hand. Well, we might have it by now. Somebody said they saw it. What? Somebody said permit. they saw it? Who said they saw it? I said it's a rare sight. <laughs> no, the build, the, 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 the Diane, yeah, yeah, Diana says it's the, it says building permit, but if you read it, it says deconstruction. It's, uh, it, I mean, yeah. you know, it's like a generic kind of form that says building permit, but it's not, am I right? I could be wrong. Okay. Mm. Well, but that, so Ned hasn't have seen a it. Permit. Ned hasn't seen it, and I don't think. Deb has seen it, and I okay. haven't seen it, so um, I don't think we have it. Are there pictures um, posted? Not anywhere? posted, but yes. We that would be, pictures. That I would be have, fun. I have some pictures. I have to download them from my okay. thing, and, and we can post them on Facebook and stuff. I can, yeah, I should do a little post. Have you, been, you, have you taken pictures lately, Diana? I can send I you some pictures, Diana. Sure, that would be great. I have um, been taking pictures along the way. Good. Peter, you had something? Yeah. Um, two, I was cleaning out the cat, digging down into the cat room yesterday, <clears throat> and um, realized that we need, ever more so, we need that north wall finished. And I'm also wondering, David, if you might take on getting that oil tank out of there. It, I, Working in the cat room, it would be useful if that would think. And we determined it was empty, so it could go into the metals, uh, I think. I, I mentioned that to Ned, and, uh, because I thought probably the city would like to get rid of it. Yes. Just to get rid of it. But he said that they, the only way they could get rid of it is to hire a license. Uh, okay. Waste. Well, well, waste waste yeah. 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 Massive yeah. Massive environment. Yeah. And they're like around. There are ads in the paper every day mm -hmm. about tank removal. It's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. But his, his attitude was it's not in the way, you know, mm -hmm. you know, it's not something we want to deal with. Where is it? It's just, out, it's just on the north side of the little cubby, which is the cat room. Mm -hmm. And as I'm digging out from under, I see this is going to be in the way if we want to. And um, reinforce the cement, it's, yeah, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's just I mean, it, it's partitioned off in a corner, and yeah. it's easy enough to know that it's there. I see. That it's empty. That it's it's em not, we it's definitely determine it's empty. I mean, there's yeah. <coughs> dried whatever residues. little residues on the bottom, right. completely dry. Yeah, oil is pretty. Mm -hmm. it's, it it, it only takes a very small amount to contaminate a huge amount of water. So I can see how Ned would. Well, it's, it's a legal more. process. You have to remove them in a certain way, and yeah. they get them. Yeah. Was it used in the past? Yeah. 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 Well, then it's it going to have residue. A source yeah. of heat for that right. building. Then it's going to have residue. Mm -hmm. Can we okay. go? F I understand what your points are, but I'm wondering if we can go forward without that, so that maybe it's, we would have nine months before the beginning of next year mm -hmm. to work on the process, which might be a timely factor. Mm -hmm. I'm just looking at the timeliness of how the city is actually taking care of the north part of the building, which isn't happening. It was supposed to happen last week. Um, and I make a reminder of this. Diana actually, by hand, made a trench mm -hmm. to get some of the rocks out of there so that the water would go right. down. Well, Ned is, Ned is following up on that. Um, I mean, it's a week is, 
you know, I, know, I mean, it's any it, time. It, I mean it well, no, but you know what? Pri the, the thing is, Peter, it, they have other priorities. We've got we've got stormwater issues. I mean, there, there's lots and lots of stuff that can happen, and in the big realm, of, in the big scheme of things, you know, um, this trench is a pretty low priority. And I hate to say it, but it's it's the reality of life right now in in Northampton, and I think. The other, I believe, the other complication was that originally they had thought of uh, renting a small mm -hmm. machine, and now it was decided that a machine can't do the trick. Isn't that what I heard from somewhere? And, and it has to be people. So now we have to have, you know, some some workers, not just one worker. Now it's going to be a bunch of workers out there digging, and and that's, you know, I, I haven't you spoken. I haven't it's spoken me on Saturday. I'm sorry. <laughs> for me on Saturday. Well, no. Hope. So maybe, maybe <laughs> that's. that's I mean, un, until we hear from Rich, it's 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 not clear what the plan is or how fast it can happen. That's you know, and, and we haven't heard from him yet. Well, that so. will hold up getting it sealed up for the winter, for sure. If this doesn't happen soon, we've got quite a bit of framing and replacing. It holds up construction of the outside wall, making it. Yeah. Right. I mean, it's right. And I told I've I've told yeah. them that. Yeah. I'm told so, them they understand. I think on a Saturday, <coughs> Wednesday preferably, um, if a bunch of volunteers show up and there's somebody with a bucket, then maybe, okay, we each grab handfuls. You can't dig it. I couldn't a hoe. dig it. Hoe. The rocks with the hole? Yes. Shovel. How big a hole? Well, shovel. Shovel. shovel doesn't work. No. Just like a hole like this. Yeah. Let me just kind of scoop it up. Yeah, because you, no, you can't dig it. It's, a, it's no. rock. It's I, gravel. I left you can't a, put a, a gravel. heavy duty hole. <coughs> yeah, a, a rake might work. I mean, okay. Mm. okay. Anyway, and that will continue to be through email, just letting people know when you're going to be there. Is that well? So right? yeah, okay. we're there on Wednesday and Saturday mornings. Yes. If anyone wants to come, ever. But, uh, on Wednesday at seven to twelve. I mean, at eight to twelve. On Saturday at seven to twelve. With a bucket or something. You know, some additional mechanical help is definitely. And I didn't understand why you couldn't get one of those small, uh, <coughs> really small. Too close to the building, they couldn't get the footings down on the sides of the machinery to you make it stabilize the machine. Mm -hmm. yeah, and, the, and, the, and the stabilizing legs stick out beyond mm -hmm. the machine, and then you have to get close to the. Okay. Other construction news? Um, we'll move along here. Well, well along. Roger. I'm just curious, why is it called? <laughs> ah, that's right. In the winter. winter. In 30 seconds or less. In the winter. That's where they poop. The ground was. That's, really, that's yeah. what I assumed, but I just oh. wanted to make sure. Ground was free. I was like, the city had a okay. different project. Now it's there about four there. inches it's lower, so maybe it's not as inviting. All right. So we have planning and publicity still. Save the cat. <laughs> yeah, and Diane, I forgot to put the cat box back in there. I don't think they're using it in the summer. No. Save the cat's winter home. <laughs> are these this is what's going to prevent us from going forward. <laughs> are these feral, feral cats? We are. I assume. I'm yes. joking. I'm oh. joking. Right. We, um, we have made accommodations <laughs> for the cat. Okay. <laughs> really? Right. Why? Uh, never mind. <laughs> Planning a publicity. They're going to stay about there that? anyway, so, yeah. you know. Uh, Planning a publicity. <laughs> <coughs> Karen, there's a difference in levels, and that was the reason that that curve that goes up where we kind of yeah. put the framing because there's four inches difference okay. between. There's a step. The, well, the cement in the yeah. regular room yeah. versus ours is four inches. It'd be mm -hmm. nice with that picture. So. Yeah, that's good. Right, we could see what that. All right, planning of publicity. Where are we at? Can oh, I say go ahead. Go ahead. One more question. Um, does Bob Reckman know about the issue about trying to remove the oil tank? I do think that it was an issue last he knew. So he's away right now, and okay. I think we had just decided that we were going to leave it there. Okay. And this is the first I've heard of moving it again. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. One more. Planning of publicity. Do we have a report or update where we are? Uh, yeah, we um, have to meet for the tax sale. Yeah. You know, I'm sorry, but I, so. I'm forgetting what what I've, needed yeah, to be discussed a, under that. I mean, we certainly oh, need to okay. start. We need to start putting the word out there, and um, Debbie has found somebody who is willing to help with um, with social media for her event in October, and we don't want to push and and 
put a lot of expectations on this person right away because it would be great if she can help us out as a whole committee, but for right now she's agreed to help out for the October event. But even that will help us because she's going to teach us some stuff and we're going to learn from her. Um, and her name again is Sun Muldoon. Sun Muldoon and she's, she's one of the artists in the event. I have asked the artists who agree to be in the event to volunteer two hours or give a workshop at the event. She volunteered in social media and, do it, and is doing way more than two hours. And Judy Novak, who's another artist in the group, has volunteered to do um, graphic arts. Yeah. So that is poster. And both of them are, are, profe are yeah, great professionals, are great professionals, just like, yeah. you know, and again, it's like we're so blessed with these community members who are all willing to pitch in their skills and talents and help us. Uh, Sue Muldoon ha does a lot of work for farmers markets in Connecticut and some apple growers associations and some she does some work for some municipalities as well I think and Judy Novak has an advertising you know develops ads and stuff. She has an people. agency. So, yeah so great. I mean they both they both are great so um, they're helping with with the October event you know it's we we hope that they might help us a little bit in other areas too um, but we definitely need to create a plan, and that's one of the things that I hope to um, address in the next month or so. I mean, if, if there, it's possible that if there were someone from, you know, shaking, shaking the, the Gmail list or, or shaking the community and getting someone who knows something about, about technology and Facebook could work with Sue, that's mm -hmm. possible. It would be better if it was a member of our working group. Well, because then we have to get a member right. who knows that right. stuff. Yeah, right. that would be better. Because right. we do or, need or someone to all the time. I mean, if if I can, I, I'm interested in it. I would mm -hmm. love to do it if it works out for me to do it. But um, if not, we need to have somebody else. I just I feel a little uncomfortable having it be somebody who doesn't really yes, know the yes, culture yes, and yes, know the yes. history and all that kind of stuff. Do we have anybody like that? And if we don't, we have to find somebody like I that. I have put out a request yeah. on to to the email list, yeah. to our Gmail list yeah. of people who said they want to volunteer for something uh -huh. on our in our group. And then and that person would have to become a member of the that person would become a member of the committee. Well, you just want it them to know sense. what's going on. No, it, yeah. of course it yeah. makes sense. They yeah. have I would to. also like to do it, but the re center is a priority yes, for me right yes, now. Right. So. Yes, yes. Um, I understand. Did you have a chance to talk with Lisa? I did talk to Lisa, and she's gonna. She, you know, we talked in person, and I showed her the pictures, and she said she w she had a couple of people in mind she would ask. Can we hold that off until sure. the yes. until the yes. Um, yes. event coordinator updates? Yes. 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 So planning in publicity, we need to start. I think the uh, the the reason it's on there is we need to start putting it out there more and more just start <coughs> educating people about the recenter. I think that's the, the biggest piece. And we're getting to the point where having more volunteers, <coughs> once the framing is up and we're going to have painting and stuff like that, having more volunteers to help move things would be really helpful. So, do you have a color copy? Color yes. Copy? Mm -hmm. Yes. Of the article? Yes. Oh, you yeah. need a color copier? Copier. Of, yeah. So that we can yeah. all have copies of the article? Oh, I was in the Gazette, you know, so somebody wants to know, yeah, hey, read this, you know, uh -huh. just, uh -huh. just ask Wait, nine of us It doesn't even have whoever. to be color. Well, yeah. it would be helpful to nice have it really, it really makes some kind of a handout. Well, does. well I would yeah. say a color copy yes. of that article, you know, chopped yes. up and yes. two sides and give it to anybody that you think might be interested in right. potentially well, I mean, joining or, yeah. you know. I had a thought, it'd be kind of fun to do uh, like a, a last day of construction uh, event. Oh yeah, that would be fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I would say, yeah, come on out, get the kids to make lemonade or whatever. And uh huh. Show up and have a little reuse center last minute. Well, that's a good that's a good idea, Roger, and it's a good segue into the next topic because David had met with the woman Which from David? Ward, David Starr, okay. had met okay. with Marianne Labarge, his new yep. council person, Marianne Labarge, 
that who suggested that we make a presentation to City Council. Mm -hmm. And um, so I was talking to Ned about it, and he and, and actually John, John um, felt the same way, felt that uh, we, oh no, it wasn't John, it was David. Well, John felt the same way, but also David Starr had said, it really should be closer to when we open, because then we'll know all of the details about how this is going to work. And, and, and if you make a presentation next week, uh, we're not going to be able, they're going to ask all these questions and we're not going to be able to answer them. So it is important to do, and it would be a good kind of kickoff publicity thing closer to when we open. I think it's a, both of those are great ideas. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so we have a, if it's not enough just in our hearts to finish the, all hearts in, in your hands, um, to finish the reuse center, then it's um, uh, uh, something to keep in mind when right. we get closer. Diana and Peter and David, in your opinion, how much longer is the work that mm -hmm. absolutely has to happen going to take? If you mean to complete the, to, to, to to open the for doors us to be able to open, open the doors, doors. Yeah. 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 several weeks. Yeah, it wouldn't be more. Than, it wouldn't be less than three weeks. Yeah. And, and, and working two days a week, two okay. mornings a week. So it's at this more point, more likely to be six or eight weeks. Well, at, at the pace really that we're going. Yeah. Yeah. If we could get in there yeah. on other days, you know, if there were. If we could have a skilled person to direct to, you know, like we, we were working, we're working volunteers and we're working like trying to figure things out as mm -hmm. we go along and mm -hmm. a lot of mm -hmm. things are not quite the way that they would be if you were building from scratch. And So you know, Bob is coming back on April, in, uh, uh, early August, August right? Yeah. 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 But he doesn't actually do work there. He right. comes and he says, okay, this is the next thing that needs to happen. I see. And we have to find a skilled carpenter to come and do that thing that he's. I see. Just what we do. I see. And the skilled carpenter who volunteers hasn't done the framing for a long time. He's he's got to figure some things out. He's not like it's not what he does every single day of his life. Right. It's, you know. Right. He, he's volunteering and ready to Yeah. Yeah. Is that a email list request? Have you said you would have done that? Um, I have. I've been asking people I know for that. Yeah. I haven't sent that out to the broader email list. It'd be nice to get it. Even two people. <laughs> yeah. Well, we had right, two yeah. yesterday, actually. Yeah. It was nice. Ben oh, that's came. great. Mm -hmm. Ben came too. Yeah. 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 So we had two different projects happening. And mm -hmm. and uh, we really do need to keep an active list of the special volunteers who help out on this because we should have a big poster right. um, for sure. the first year of opening, <laughs> you yeah. know, yeah. saying special thanks to I could use people. help with being grateful. Mm -hmm. if I, I, my, will, I am not. Oh, I'm I can help, help with that. With that. Oh, that good, 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 good. Because coming from, a, coming from a board public Taking, works member. I can take time out to do that. <laughs> I would love that because I'm okay. not, it's um, not my yeah. skill. So we need a, no, we need an active okay. list of, of people who have given their and I, I would write a personal email. So, yeah, whatever information you can give me of people's and contact information, whatever. Okay. I don't, address is enough. Okay. Uh, and I'll, I'll be your factotum for that. Okay. Yeah, so, so one, uh, um, the deconstruction guy, Dave Giese, is, is, he's probably, is he, is he still helping out or he might he still he help out? He stepped back, but okay. he, I mean, if we had deconstruction things, right. maybe he could. And he's basically done. He's what? done deconstruction. Yeah. Yeah. So that's uh, that's something that can go out. Okay. You know, thank you. That can go out for sure. So we well, he might the electrical work. Then he might still be useful for the forestry yeah. and all that kind of stuff. It's, we have it's, my, yeah. it's my understanding that the city's guy is planning to do the electrical. Yeah. yeah. But uh, because that's what's said in. He was. A, Tris said that. In he was working yeah. with the volunteer electrician. They were they were there together and they were talking oh, about okay. what needs right. to happen. Um, mm -hmm. But I haven't. Okay. We, we're not at that point, so I think they're not coming back yeah. until we're ready. Okay. I just don't want that? it to mm -hmm. hold up. Yeah. I don't remember the date. Well, I mean, like two weeks ago, two or three weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well, not really recent. Not recent. Okay. Other recenter okay. questions? Where we are? Comments? Are we okay? Okay. Good. Um, oh, I'm nope. sorry. That's uh, right. Related to the city council presentation, uh, in my discussion with Ned, 
one of the things that the subcommit the working group needs to work on is how it's going to uh, operational things for the recenter. So who is going to be allowed in, who is not going to be allowed in, mm -hmm. and how the traffic flow is going to be, etc. So I just wanted to make that comment because that's something yeah. important. The working group will do that though. Yeah. Sure. Okay. And, and you have meeting schedules? The working group's got a regular schedule? We meet schedule? every Tuesday okay. at 9 o'clock at the water department. All of them? <laughs> you don't want the working group to be too big either. Oh, we can yeah. use them. Yeah. Yeah. They're working. Yeah. That's we great. We wouldn't send you away. We can use Tuesday them. at 2? Yeah. Tuesday nine. at 9. Oh, nine. 9 in the morning? Yes. Okay. So then, are you covering that? Yep. Okay, so event coordinator updates. Uh, is there much to update? We have the names. Is there something you want to go over? We have. Well, um, yeah. so so there's the tag sale. Yeah. Yep. I'm just um, curious about how to decide whether front or back. Um, get a little more input, whether it should be. I mean, yeah, I, I like the idea. It's something visible, visibility of having it out front. Um, it de would depend somewhat on how many people sign up. We're going to figure the letter going out to folks who we didn't have a rain date, you know, right. and we're going to, but just to wait till the 1st of September, and then yeah. everybody's back mm -hmm. and say you've got a free place, um, and then get more people. But I'm not sure the logistics of having everybody <clears throat> with their vehicles, et cetera, in front is quite as easy as in back, yeah. but what's the opinion? I mean, what do people think? Well, what's the how many people can we have up front? Well, you'd mm -hmm. have to, they have to be spread out in a long a row up yeah, front. It's a different layout. Mm -hmm. right. I, I, well, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait. Could you, can you do both lots? Could you have 10 people up front and then people in the back? I not thought of that. But, um, well, the problem is, uh, then the 10 people out front yes. might get missed if the majority of the people are out back. I mean, it, it's, you know, the... the it, would be, it would be a toss-up because yeah. the people out front will be seen from the street and the people out back might have the people who park their cars and walk to the, you know, like, there, there'll be mm -hmm. half of each, but I think they would both benefit each other. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Go. I had the same thought that Diana did. And one of the ways to address your issue is to maybe <clears throat> specialize in the 10 people out front. So maybe the 10 people up, I mean, sure, this right. is another level, but mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> the 10 people up front would be toys or something that, that, that if yes. there's 15 people behind, that's a random thing, but the 10 people in front could be toys. I don't know. I'm just, I'm throwing that mm -hmm. out as a concept. Mm -hmm. Right. But I like the idea of both because the issue was, I think, visibility, the visibility from the street and getting people in. I figure if we go over again and <coughs> really look at the front lot and see how how we would do it, yeah. and so for the yeah. next meeting we would definitely mm -hmm. have that mm -hmm. figured out. Yeah, it needs to be on the yes, it needs to be on the parking lot. I was thinking about how they organize the plan sale that people can't schlep things from. Well, take a look at that side too, where they do that, because there is a parking lot, and then they use that big lawn where they oh, were building yeah. that little shed thing. Yeah. Mm. So maybe people could back up to, I don't know. Well, one. It's a big space. One mm. one thing to, um, I mean, I I think that if you, we have we have tag sale signs that we can litter, sprinkle the, the, the lawn with. I think if, if you have, um, I've been wanting to invest in some colored pennants, you know, that okay. we can like, like tie to a, a flagpole oh, yes, and, and you know, nice. that's going to get people's attention. And, you know, and mm -hmm. if we have a big sign, so if we have, you know, tag sale, tag sale, tag sale, colored pennants and a sign <coughs> that says this way with an arrow, you know, how can you miss that? How can you, you know, people, people will come. Mm -hmm. So, so if it, if it, if it's determined that it's not really ideal to be out front, mm -hmm. Um, I think link it up with other banners and the posters. Absolutely, okay. absolutely. I was also wondering, uh, have you ever had things like uh, uh, community groups doing bake sales and stuff like that? That would be good. That'd be nice to have like a food court. We have, we, we, have, yeah. we have had yeah. um, environmental groups. Yep. Yeah. 
Yep, and so we could certainly uh, be in touch with them and ask. If they well, they have that it. program. They have a cooking program. They have a restaurant program at, oh, at Smith. Smith Park. Right. Yeah, I think. Is that what we're not talking about? Think, no, no, we weren't talking, talking about. about it wasn't that's Smith. a Saturday. It's a Saturday. Past, but, that's that's a Saturday. Smith, but the environmental club oh, has brought their. But we could certainly ask. Oh, they them. have. But I was thinking about their edu Smith culinary yeah. education. They don't come through. They don't come through. Yeah. Yeah. Oh dear. Well, they have not come through. Oh, I'm just wondering if you could have that those to be the front line mm -hmm. people. So that would be the food. Or something yeah. else. Or, or something, something compatible, like you know, but mm -hmm. not but yeah. needing to be a bit more separate. I mean, think of what, yeah, what that. Yeah. Other things, Peter? Not like so. Not okay. Just that they're going to get a letter, as I said, when we didn't have the rain date, those people will get a letter beginning okay. of September so that they. And how long will they have to reply? Well, six weeks, too, but we could say, you know, by the, to reply that they still want to do it. They still want to do it, yeah. Well, as soon as possible, but deadline, you know, yeah, like two weeks. first of October or something. Okay. Uh, Max. The, are you okay? The yeah. art show then? Debbie, do you have something you want to talk about? Uh, yeah, it's going to happen. That's the big okay. <laughs> um, I, I have an assistant who's going to send out, um, a tiny, a little cover letter with this, I'll pass this around, um, this call for artist poster, poster quarter cut, let's say, quarter cut, quarter size page, has been designed by um, Judy Novak, and she's doing another one right now that's going to be an announcement. So this is call for artist, and there's another one that is announcement. And then she's going to make um, 11 by 14 poster when the photographs, when more of the photographs start coming in from the artists, including her idea was to do contrast raw materials and the final product. So people say, oh, that was made out of this. This was made out of that. I thought that was a great idea. Um, so she's going to make a poster look something like that so we can have that in an 11 by 17 form and put it around. And these here, well, this, and then the one that's called announcement, that I call announcement, this I call call for artists, um, can be, she'll, she'll have it, she'll be done, she can send them to you, you can have them, I talked to Deb about having the four color, because they do need to be in four color, um, made in quarter cuts, quarter of page, cut part, and then everybody can both, well, can hang them up. Okay, so the paper copies, the actual kit paper copies will be hung on bulletin boards all over the place. First, the call for artists. Then we still need that. The event is still ways off, so it's 10 weeks away. So that's a long time. Um, <coughs> so uh, the the one that says the the event is coming, well, I don't know. They maybe they can both go up now. It's on bulletin board, so people need to take some of these, a handful of these, and somehow or other, people need to get them to do that. And also, they both of these will be sent as the way artwork is attached to an email to all of the artists who either have said yes already or are being solicited for this, so that then they can spread it out to their constituencies and post it on their Facebook pages and however they do that and they can print them and they can put them up places too. Sue Muldoon has made what's called a writable application that means for the artist which means you can write on it. Maybe everybody knows this or maybe that's not really what it's called but that's what I call it. So they receive it, they, there's, they can get it from our Facebook page or from the website and um, get it on their screen, they can type right on it, answer all the questions, click return. They can add their photographs, where well, I'm requesting photographs of their work, and send it all back to Northampton Reuse with a subject line that says that it's an application for the, for the are art Are you show. collecting those off of that? I'm not, no. Susan, are you collecting Susan those off of Susan is going to collect them and send them to my list? assistant, I will Nina. Do. Okay. So Susan okay. will send them to Nina. Okay. So Susan, you'll send them to Nina. Nina could just Nina? get them. Susan? Susan? You will send them to Nina. Don't mm -hmm. send them to me. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I just wanted to make sure that that was uh, the setup. Okay. Is that it? Yeah. Very nice. Okay. Very and good. And I have a friend who might be interested in doing some kind of fashion show there, and I'm encouraging her to do that, some kind of reuse mm -hmm. fashion show thing. And there'll be 
the costume swap and there'll be workshops for kids and families and something else. Demonstrations, artists demonstrating their work. Another friend that wants to put out, demonstrate their, their show, lots of different things that can be made with stuff for kids, which is a workshop that she had given, but I'm not sure if she's getting into workshop anyway. It's a big space and hopefully we'll get lots more artists. Mm -hmm. And I will also send this, these two bits of art, to you all, so you can send them out to your people. They'll just go... Mm. Yes, they are. Sounds like an, an exciting event. Yeah. yeah. Yes, we do. Okay. That's it? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I'm going to need more assistance because my assistant, Nina, goes back to school at the end of August, so I will need more help mm. at that point. So keep your ears open for more help, or if more volunteers, Diana, come through with a Gmail, that would be great. Did Lisa said she was going to contact you, or not? Contact Is she leaving me Sunday? About that? Yeah, about this. Uh, hmm. I don't know whether she said, so I better write myself a note um, to find out from her. Because hmm. she had one person definitely in mind, yeah. and then a, who would be ideal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, the oh. next... Oh. oh, and Peter, yeah. you had some letter that you were writing up. Have you written that up yet? Not yet. Okay. So <coughs> that's it's coming... It's, okay. so it's I coming when it rains next. <laughs> okay. Next, which will Down be forward. this afternoon. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it, frankly. Um, okay. So, in November, there's the... Uh, the bulky rigid plastic styrofoam. Uh, we have the place, Susan. That's the yep. the set. Okay. So when David gets back, he and I will talk and we'll get in touch with you. I think that should be straightforward. Yeah, so the key thing is to, um, in fact, something that can happen right now is that we need to book the paper the shredding dumpster. people. Oh, okay. Make sure the paper shredding people are able to come. I'll get that from you. Well, um, and the toy exchange, Max not here, but that's a big event. Uh, does Barbara know about that? Not yet. Um, question. Okay, well, I can. Especially, especially for, for that one. Um, I see the recent as being able to pre-stock sure. items, so mm -hmm. especially like toys, yep. so that when we get to the event, oh, just yeah. shop it over. Mm -hmm. We've, we've we already have stuff. A couple of man loads or something yeah, like that. Start to pre organize too. Yeah. And at the end, we have a place to put it rather than mm -hmm. try to find yeah. goodwill or someone to take it. Sure. Right. And I'm thinking especially of the stuff that we would raffle or auction. Mm -hmm. you know, that, that's the kind of stuff that we really would want to be looking at year round, frankly, right. knowing that we've got an event. Um, yeah. Again, you know, well, if he's not here, probably the same format. People drop off stuff the night before and mm -hmm. organize. Yes. Yeah. Do it the next day. <coughs> we can coordinate with Barbara whether we do the same thing we did last time with her people coming early also. We'll work that out. Um, okay. Other uh, announcements or things that we need to talk about? Yeah, I like how you write this. Uh, that were not reasonably anticipated prior to this. <laughs> well, you have to post yeah. 72 yeah. hours. But she writes this every time. You know? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the topic's not reasonably anticipated. Is there anything else? Um, so, we have a next meeting date. I think you had said. Next meeting date is August, August 21st. <laughs> and, 8.30 um, here. To Same bad time. Same yeah. Time. To summarize. Um, Diana, since you were taking notes, do you mind doing a quick summary of, of what we decided or actions that we need to take? I hate to put you on the spot. Um, yeah, no, I think I'm writing up a, uh, I guess I will, you and I will write up something about what it is to be a member of the reuse okay. committee. Mm -hmm. um, is going to help with the thanking of people who are working on my mm -hmm. recenter. Everyone is following up with their own events. Um, <coughs> Peter's thinking about whether using both lots and how to use the front lot and make more publicity for the tag sales. 
Debbie's working on publicity and parts of the arts event. Um, John's going to look into the paper shredding at um, the bulky energy plastic event. And I'll call Barbara too. And he's also calling Barbara about the toy exchange. Did anybody else say they were going to do something? I have one in the thought, which, <clears throat> Susan, if you would talk to Ned, we're going to send, not send back, but take back a bunch of the tools that he bought first. I did that yesterday. I brought him the tools that we haven't right. used. Right. Right. The credit. <clears throat> um, but I would be willing to be on the lookout for stuff you know, that we need. Mm -hmm. and, I mean, from my own barn. <laughs> The stuff, there's a lot of stuff over there that I don't miss it <laughs> at all. But if that could be sold to the Department of Public Works as being their stuff, then, yeah. then we can stock it. But a whole lot I don't think it can I be don't, sold. I don't think it, um, there's, there's, it, it's unfortunate, but it's, it, there aren't mechanisms to make that happen. And to, what, it, sold, what do you mean they sold? To sell. There they can't be money. It. You, can, can you can donate, yeah. but they, there could be financial remuneration for it. Mm. Well, they have I, I don't know about purchase agreements with exactly. places that they buy from, yeah. probably. Yeah. Right? But even if it's under, I mean, well, but then there, there, there are also yeah. um, probably some insurance type issues to <coughs> that they where they wouldn't be comfortable buying new stuff because. If one of their, you know, if 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 a crowbar, no, I mean you guys laugh, but it's no, you know, we know. You know it's if, if a crowbar is being used that was purchased secondhand and it's being used in a certain situation and it fails, yeah, right. oh, that's different from if it was purchased at RK whatever. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's, it's just there's there's a liability trail. Yeah. Okay. So do you cover that? I think that I think that I So um, the next month. Uh, we're switching chairs and secretaries, or whatever you call them, clerks. So do we have someone who's willing to oh, chair? Are we? No, you were three. You signed up for three. Right. This would have been, I missed June, but I did May. Well, then you need to do another one to make I'll, it. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine, but that means we need someone to take notes, which is, seems harder to do than Right. That. Yes. So I'm, I'm working. I agreed to do it last time when I was late, and somebody else picked it up for me, so I'll do it again. He won't. Thank you. Diane. Great. Okay, then we're set for next. But with that should go on the agenda to decide next then week to decide who the next three. Just so to make right. sure. Just to know down, down the road. And we'll, and we'll use we'll some see you on September. All right. Have a good time. time. Talk to you still Bye. 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 That's fine. Um, yeah. And he takes a lot of vacation. Yeah. That's why. Okay. Once a month. Yeah. Oh no. So I move that we adjourn. Any problems with that? No. Good. We're adjourned.